I got a question in one of my live streams about how do you succeed in YouTube? What kind of mindset do you need to have? And I decided to make a full video about it. Um, you know, not, I'm not the biggest YouTuber in the world. I only have just under 40,000 subscribers, but at a point I did have, you know, 10,000. At a point I had 5,000. At a point I had less than 100 subscribers. You know, I, I started out as a small channel, worked my way from the ground up just like everybody else. Um, and you know, here's the thing, uh, this is a, this is going to be an uncut raw video again, not very edited because I just want it to be authentic. I want it to, I'm being honest with you guys. This is real talk. <laughs> First and foremost, the mentality you need to have to succeed on YouTube is to have a constant reminder or a constant thought that you fall back on when things get tough. For me, um, the thing I always think back on is whose, whose life is this? It's, it's my life. At the end of the day, it's, it's your life. It's not anyone else's. It's not your mom's. It's not your dad's. It's not your brother, sister, girlfriend, wife, spouse, anyone else. It's, it's no one else's life. It's your life. So first and foremost, you're in control. Always. You, you have the control to do what you want to do and to decide what you want to do. And the second you give that control away to someone else, where now they're calling the shots for you, you've lost. So first and foremost, your life is your life. You're in the you're in control. You're the captain of your own fate, so to speak. Because here's the thing: you're going to come across haters. You're going to come across toxic people. You're going to come across even doubters. You know, maybe some of your friends they just say like, "Oh, you shouldn't do that," or "Why are you doing that?" Here's the thing, though. You don't need to give a reason for why you're happy or for why you want to do something. Sometimes it's just a feeling and you don't owe it to anyone else to articulately explain that. Because again, you know, especially when people are just starting out their YouTube channels or this could be your project, you know, this could, this could apply to a lot of things, not just YouTube. But if you're kind of on the fence about something, but you have like a feeling for it, because that was, that was my thing is I, you know, in the early days when I was, you know, struggling with a lot of depression and anxiety and I was, I was figuring stuff out, I, I just had an inkling where I could share my struggles with people online. And, and that was my way to, to help myself was through, through helping other people. Like that's why I started my channel. That's why most of my videos before were, you know, Myers-Briggs videos. So you, you, but you need to have a fallback because because things are going to get rough and and again you know you're not you, you might not even have haters you might be publishing videos and and no one watches them you might publish a video and it gets maybe five views maybe it gets no views maybe it gets no likes right you're, you're it's, it's the same thing with twitch you're, you're streaming to nobody so that's the, the second point is you have to enjoy it you, you have to you have to love editing videos. You have to love making videos. You have to love thinking about what kind of video you're going to have, what the thumbnail is going to look like, you know, what, what are the keywords going to be? You know, what's the audience? What's the timing? Is it going to be, a, is it going to be, you know, is it going to blow up? Is it not very trending at the moment? Is it just, you know, a passion project? You need to have all these thoughts going on. Um, and, and, and I like that and I, and I love YouTube. And if I could do YouTube full time, I would, it's probably never going to happen. Um, but if it did, that'd be amazing. And, and but, but at, the, at the end of the day, to me, it's not about the money. It's not about, I mean, it is about the people I impact, but for me, I, I just love it. I, I, I love making videos. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really fun. <laughs> and, um, and I've, I've, I've discovered that because, you know, they always say like, when you find the perfect job or when you find something you really, you really enjoy, you know, time, time just flies by. Time, time just flies by. And when I'm editing videos or when I'm, when I'm in the creative mode and I'm putting things together and it's all in the moment, um, it just feels good because, you know, I'm combining a lot of the skills that I have. So that's point number two. You, you need to enjoy it. You, you need to just have a love for, for creativity or, for, or for, for, for whatever it is, whatever you're doing, just make sure you, you love to do it. And again, like my channel is a variety channel. Like, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to just stick to one thing. And at the end of the day, the content is, is really mean, you know, which, which sounds selfish, but it's like, that's, that's just what it is. It's, it's me. So it's me doing this, me doing that, or maybe I interview people, but, um, that's what a variety channel usually is. It's, it's all these different aspects of myself that I want to share with the world. 
Um, so point number one, make sure you have something to fall back on when things get tough. Make sure you have a, some kind of a reminder, some kind of a reason why. Number two, make sure you enjoy it. Make sure you enjoy what you do. And number three is don't ever listen to doubt. Don't, don't ever let fear or doubt decide what you want to do. Now, the thing is, is there, there are like certain doubts, certain fears, like the idea of like, um, I want to differentiate between like me posting something that's like totally against community guidelines and, and I get banned. It's like, okay, well, that's not really, that's not really what I'm talking about. I'm talking more about like, you're making something that you're passionate about and you're putting care and love into it and, and you're gonna put it out. And, and then you always get this thought where it's like, well, you know, are, are people really gonna like this? You know, is, is my audience gonna receive this very well? What, what, are, what are people gonna think about me afterwards? And it's like, you have to just let all that go. I, I let all those thoughts go a long time ago. And I my mentality now is kind of like the same that Joe Rogan's is. You know, he said when he was doing hour long podcasts, he would have friends come up and say, um, hey man, like." why are you doing an hour long podcast? Like no one's going to listen to you talk for a whole hour. Like that's ridiculous. And this was like 10 years ago. And Joe Rogan was like, Hey, you know what? I don't, I don't want to edit my podcasts. Like this is what I want to do. Okay. No one else is going to make this decision for me. This is what I want to do. I'm going to do it. So don't listen to the doubt. Don't listen to the haters. Like, like, and cause that's the, because that's reason number four is you only have one life. Okay. You, you only have one chance. You only have one chance at all this stuff. And it doesn't matter what point in life you're at. It doesn't matter if you're super old. It doesn't matter if you're super young. There, there's no wrong time to try to discover yourself, or to try to figure out some kind of a passion project or figure out you know, what you want to do in life. Sometimes figuring out what you want to do in life is your current passion project. Like, like just don't let fear be the driving factor for, for, for any of this. Don't, don't, let, don't succumb to fears and doubts. Instead say, no, yes, I can do this. You know, have, have a very positive self-talk to yourself and say, well, you know what, guess what? Maybe, maybe people will like what I put out, you know? And, and it took me a while to realize that like, sometimes people like these videos where I'm just talking to the camera. And I, I used to feel bad about it because it's like, I'm not really providing content. Like I'm, I'm not doing all these cool, fancy edits that I see, you know, the million uh, subscribe YouTubers do where it's going, you know, in and out on their face and there's all these images and, you know, the editing is just perfect. It's like, why, why would anyone watch just me? Like, it's, it's not I, like, I'm just talking. <laughs> and, and then I had to, I had to kind of be real with myself. And I was like, well, you know, I think, I think I have a little bit of a gift, you know, I think I have the gift of the gab as the Irish would call it. Like, I just, I think when I talk, people want to listen and I don't, I don't know why that is. And I'm, I'm really lucky for it. And it definitely didn't come to me. Um, I've always been a, a decent public speaker, uh, but I definitely haven't been afraid to like, to just talk. You know, I've, I've always been the kid where if there was a PowerPoint presentation in high school or whatever, like I just stood up and I said what I had to say. And I wasn't afraid of making a fool of myself, you know? And in fact, I embraced it, you know, I'm a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a jokester. Um, and my, that brings me to my fifth tip is whatever your personality is, there's no one personality that will make you succeed. You could be the most introverted person on the planet, hate talking to the camera. Cool. Make a video that just shows your hands, make a video that just, uh, do, do, do a commentary style video, just have you in the mic and you just talk and then put up a visual over the top of it. Okay, you don't want your you don't want your face shown. Cool, do that. There's lots and lots of commentary channels that do that. Maybe you're um, maybe you're kind of like me, and you're you're very scatterbrained. You're not sure if you could get the thoughts out just right. Well, you have two options. You can either do what I do and just do an unedited video and let people see who you really are, or write out write out a script. For those of you that don't know, I don't. I rarely ever script my videos. I, I rarely ever do. It's literally off the cuff because I, I like that delivery. I like it to be raw. I like it to be authentic. I don't like it to seem like I'm just pitching some kind of a product. I like it to be a conversation because I feel like I'm able to connect with you guys better if it's me just you know talking to you guys, real talk. But if you want to script your videos, you can do that. You know, and there's, don't, like I guarantee, like, I, if, like ask me, 
if, if you're if you're nervous, if you're like, hey, this is my personality type, I bet I could find you a YouTuber with the exact same personality that is succeeding massively. I could find you the most extroverted person. I could find you the most introverted person. They're, they're all succeeding and they're all in their lanes and they're all serving a purpose and it's beautiful. And that's one of the great things about YouTube is, is we all have something to offer and we all have different strengths and different weaknesses. My weakness is I'm, I'm scatterbrained. I don't care about necessarily when I release videos. I'm not very consistent when I release videos. Um, but my strengths are in my, my delivery and in my interactions with my community and, you know, and getting people to feel good about themselves and, and motivating other people. And it's like, those are, those are my strengths, you know, and not being afraid to, you know, make myself look silly. So those are, those are my tips just just off the top of my head. If you guys want another one of these videos, um, I can make it for you for sure. Uh, but I just wanted to make this one just cause, um, you know, one the, the biggest thing is, is just don't, don't be afraid. I, actually, I'll give you I'll give you another one. I'll give you number six. Um, and this one is interesting, but like, don't don't rely too heavily on other people's approval. Like, don't think that your family has to like your videos or your close friends have to like your videos. Like, I make my videos, and I I don't expect anyone to watch them. I don't expect my friends to watch them. I don't expect my family to watch them. When I hang out with my family in real life, I rarely ever talk about my channel because I'm counteracting the person who's very like in people's face about it. Don't be the person who's always like, oh, here's my video and you're doing it to your friends and your family and, and maybe people like, like don't, don't over publicize yourself. Like, it's okay every now and then to be like, oh, hey, cool, I made this, at least to your friends and stuff. But make sure you differentiate between your, your friends and your family and, and your YouTube. Like, make sure you make that distinction. Because I see it all the time where people kind of bleed the line. And to be honest, it's a little annoying sometimes when someone's like constantly like, oh, hey, like, can you promote this for me? Or, hey, can you can you do this for me? Can you do this? Like, like just don't, don't nag other people. Like, don't, don't rely on others. Set your own path. Say to yourself, okay, I'm going to support myself. If people want to come and watch, great. But I'm not going to guilt trip people into promoting my videos or into talking about my videos. That's, that's, that's my approach. Like, my approach is if you like it, come and watch. If you don't, great. Like, I could not care less. Like, I'm doing this because I like to do it. <laughs> and if people say like, oh, stop doing it, why would I listen to that? If, if it's directly not in line with me. But that's, yeah, that's tip number six is don't, don't, you know, oversaturate your friends and your family and other people with like too much self-advertising. So be, just, just be wary of that. And I know, I know it's tough when you're just starting out and it's, it's actually good to do that when you're, when you're very, very first starting out, but seriously, give it like three months and then stop and then just become radio silent with that part of your life. And then only treat it as like a professional side of your life. So then don't think of it as, oh, if someone's my close friend, they'll love my videos. No, no, no. Think of it. Whoever's watching your videos, that's the crowd you advertise to. Don't, don't use too much of your personal life for that. Uh, okay. Well, those are my tips. That's my, that's my ideas. Those are my, that's my thought process. So take it as you will, and I'll see you all in the next video. And I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you very much and goodbye.